Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is going to be a third party slash karmic reading for those who are in a third party triangle. If you do not know for certain or fact that you are in a third party, I would just strongly advise for you to take what applies and leave the rest. Um, if you would like to get your own booking with me, my website and my email will be in the description box below. Upon purchase, please send me an email and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, so this is for the twin flames who are dealing with a karmic or, you know, your DMs with a karmic um, third party. Okay, maybe you suspect there is third party energy and you want to see if this resonates with you because sometimes um, readings also work like that as well. Okay, maybe you watch a reading and you weren't you weren't suspecting a third party, but then, you know, the more cards are pulled, the more of a storyline develops. You're like, whoa, I'm in a third party. And then you find out that you're in a third party. Okay, so that's just kind of like the, the gist of this type of video. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with a dm the df and the karmic or any other people who are um in the way of this connection okay basically delaying the the union right well we have virgo energy which is hermit i see all fire signs in capricorn okay which is aries leo sagittarius all right especially Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn is coming out very strongly to me. So there could be a Capricorn third party on the DM or the DF side. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Now I just did a I just did a DM to DF uh, update and these two cards came out as well. Okay, so I'm going to link that video um, wherever I can, the box below towards the end of the video. I will also link that too. Okay, that's also available on my channel. Make sure to subscribe. Okay, so there's somebody here in this connection who wants to take a leap of faith in a different direction. This feels like um, divine feminine, okay? So the DF, regardless of gender, okay, um, wants a new beginning. The Empress, yeah, the Empress is right next door, okay? So there's a new beginning. There's going to be some kind of new beginning with love, two of cups. Yeah, see? Okay, so there's definitely going to be... Wow, okay, so here's what I'm getting, right? Here's what I'm getting, okay? So the Divine Masculine, I feel this is the, the, the DM, okay? The DM is the one right now who is watching on social media, um, could be looking up where the DF lives, okay? Okay. Um, you know, page of swords. So really heavily watching right now. And I feel like the divine masculine has kind of backed down due to competition, um, due to other love offers. So I think that there's a strong, there's a strong energy here of the DF having other options. Now, you know, take what applies. Okay. It could be the opposite, but for me, this definitely feels like the DF um, could have other options. And so the DM is taking note of this. The DM is trying to, I feel almost like get in the way, like kind of talk. It's a little bit toxic, like kind of peep in and see what's going on here. But, um, you know, not really do anything about it. So there is a very, very strong vibe here of somebody watching on social media and you know a little bit of stalking but not doing anything about it like not really wanting to offer anything so there is somebody in this connection who is watching from afar um red flag again okay red flag so yeah this also was coming up in the other video i did like five minutes ago so there's a lot of red flags okay there's a lot of red flags here a lot of red flags so i get the vibe that you both yeah you both are heartbroken look at that see you both you both are really exhausted over this connection you both are very tired of this connection now i hate to sound like that but that's what i get okay so you both are really tired you know you both are really tired of 
you know, the competition and having to one up each other, I think that there's a little bit of um, competition going on here where maybe, you know, one person is posting on social media, you know, to make the other person jealous. And then there's also vibes here of somebody, I kind of think like trying to be with other people to show off, you know, and that sounds a little bit, you know, that's, that's very detailed, but that that's what I do get. Okay. Romantic feelings. Okay, so there's still feelings. So there's still feelings. There, there could be some feelings on the, the karmics end with the DM. Um, that's what I'm getting, okay? There could be still a lot of a lot of heavy feelings between the karmic and the DM um, behind the scenes. I don't think it's like really discussed per se, but I think it's like a well-known fact that the karmic is still holding on to a lot of feelings for the DM, okay? So the DM, I'm not saying the DM has feelings back because I'm not sure, you know, I don't want to go that far but there's still something there, okay? This does not feel like DF and DM to me. This feels like the karmic and the DM, okay? Just keeping it 100, right? Okay, let's see what else is going on here for for the update, okay? For the update. Victory is coming. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, it's it's so slow. Like, you know this 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 dm is so f removed so removed from anything to do with love you know family this dm is so removed this dm is so distant from you know their potential i feel like this divine masculine has a lot of potential but is not wanting to yeah this could be a water sign see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there's like a lot of energy here about, you know, this DM water sign. If it's a water, it could be water in the chart. Okay. You know, really needing to like embrace reality, but they're not doing that. Okay. So there's a lot of competition, a lot of competition, a lot of, you know, social media watching and, you know, anxiety. You know, there's a lot of anxiety about you know, the DF being able to find somebody better. And I think that there is, you know, there. this gives me the impression that there is some DFs who have found um, somebody better, you know. This could be a soulmate, okay? This could be a soulmate. Like, I, fe I feel like this the, the DF is going to get a soulmate. Like, if they're not going to be in union, then, yeah, this definitely could be a soulmate, Okay. Most, most definitely. Yeah. See, there's confusion. There's confusion over which one to pick. You know, do you go with the soulmate? Do you go with the twin flame? Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of conflict with that, with the DF I see here. Like, should you just give, you know, your counterpart another chance or should you go with someone completely different? Yeah. And this has caused a tower moment. See, this has caused a major shakeup, a major, major shakeup, because I feel like you both are on different pages. OK, let's look into the karmic and see what's going on there. So there's a there's a I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of distance I see here. So if you are in contact, it's it's still very distant. It feels like a a disconnect. Maybe somebody did choose to disconnect. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is them, but I, I, I do think that somebody has chosen here to, di to disconnect. Um, Leo DM, Cancer DM. So I think that they've disconnected for sure. They've chosen. I'm actually seeing that, especially if it's a Cancer Sun, Leo Sun, they've chosen to disconnect, okay? So somebody needed to hear that and just get that confirmation. Yes, they have... They have disconnected. Um, I, I feel on purpose, to be honest with you, because the heartache, you know, the heartache was just too much to bear. OK. Like for sure, this also could be an Aquarius. There could be Aquarius female or or friend or relative or third party. Also in the way this could be a relative Aquarius relative. 
Virgo relative, uh, ex who's a Virgo, uh, third party who's a earth sign, okay? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Definitely I'm seeing a third party with the earth sign. Okay. Yeah, they've moved away. See, look at that. Look at that. They've moved away. Somebody here's moved away. Somebody has definitely like packed up their stuff and like physically moved. This could be like emotionally and physically, like just wanting to just leave, leave completely, not even caring you know, who it affects, just packing up and, and leaving, you know, leaving. Yep. Past life relationships, see? So this is a deep connection, engagement. Maybe in a past life you were engaged, you were, you were engaged to this person. Oh, look at this. Release your ex. See, there's a lot of cards about an ex. Oh my God. An ex who is a soulmate? Look at that. An ex. So there's somebody in this connection. This could be you. This could be them. There is somebody here who is holding on to a soulmate. And that's a major block as well. Okay? Like someone's holding on to a soulmate. Someone's holding on to a soulmate or a karmic I see here. Okay? So maybe for the DM, it's a karmic, you know. Um, and then maybe for the DF, it's a soulmate, you know, something that's actually solid, um, which is good. I mean, at least, I mean, a soulmate's definitely better than a karmic, but um, that's neither here nor there. Okay, so we have attraction. So I think that attraction is is what's holding this on by a thread. That sounds really bad, but that's what I'm getting here. Okay. Like right now, right now, everything is holding on by a thread, unfortunately, guys, okay? Because I really think that commitment, commitment is what you both need, okay? But um, somebody's being very cold. Look at that, King of Swords. Someone's being very cold, okay? Somebody's not wanting to open up their heart. So I do see someone's walked away. Um, that's what I see for the update, okay? So either I think if I mean if you walked away, then that's obviously you, right? It's obviously you that I'm picking up on. You walked away, okay? So the last two we have is a win-win outcome is forecast and surrender to the divine. Okay, I love this because this is very straightforward. I love I love this message right here. This is a very good message, okay? Let me just read this for you guys real quick. Okay, so there is a lot of people I see here, you know, coming in, coming out, you know, breaking up, making up soulmates, karmics, you know, but there is heartbreak. You know, what I will say is between between the DM and the DF, there is a strong heartbreak energy. Okay, there's heartbreak because, you know, things right now are not going according to schedule, right? I mean, one person had marriage in the mind. The other person had moving in on the mind and, you know, around and around we go. OK, so right now you guys are very disconnected. I see, of course, in a private, I can go more, a lot more in detail to your situation. But for this for this reading, it's obvious that, um, you know, you both are very disconnected. And I, I do see heartbreak there, at least for the divine masculine, there is a sense of loss Okay, so we have Surrender to the Divine. Uh, this is a beautiful card, Full Moon. And then we have a Win-Win Outcome is Forecast. Full Moon, uh, so two Full Moon, look at that. So on a Full Moon, check your calendar. On a Full Moon, there is something very special going to happen, okay? So absolutely, you know, the scales... The scales are going to balance, you know, I think that you both need to go ahead and release any negativity around the connection, especially if you're a twin flame, you know, you need to go ahead and release all those, you know, junky negative thoughts, you know, you need to go ahead and, um, you know, be confident that, you know, there's going to be better days ahead, okay, is what I really get for for both of you, okay, and if, and if you are a third party or a karmic or a soulmate who you know, 
um, your partner, your ex was tied to a twin flame and you're watching, I think it, it, it also applies. You, know, you need to give them space. You need to um, understand that this is not an easy decision, especially if you are you know, married to this person or whatever's going on there. Because I do pick up, there could be people watching maybe you know, you're married to a soulmate, but you have a twin flame, you know, and, or maybe your twin flames married to, to a soulmate and you're single. So there's a lot of things going on here, right? So just release the negativity, you know, kind of let that go. And we have you are special, love yourself, patience, self care, um, Archangel Metatron, apologize, look at this, think about it and apologize think about it and apologize. Okay, they're asking you to think about it and apologize. So there needs to be some apology. I don't know who that's, that's for. But if there was cheating, you know, if there has been a third party, obviously, this is a third party reading. Um, there needs to be some there needs to be some apologies. There needs to be some clear apologies, you know, extended in order to clear the air. Okay, so this is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Okay, make sure to um, support my channel if you wish. Subscribe and thumbs up. Um, also, let me know that you got your message and you're grateful for the reading. I do appreciate that as well. And my email and my website is in the box below to get your own reading with me. Okay, I love you all so much. Go in peace. Don't stress out. Release the burden you know, move in a different direction to calmer water and be prosperous. Okay. Save your money, save your energy. Don't argue with people. You know, don't, don't worry about a third party. Um, it is what it is, right? People make their own decisions. And, you know, if somebody wants to be in a third party and, you know, do whatever, um, let them do it, you know, save yourself the energy and the time of, of, of heartache, right? That's what I feel about it. Okay. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.